Well, welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We are at Milwaukee's Grill Fest. And we're firing up the best grills on the market. That's for sure. And I'll tell you what, we have some great sponsors here today that we're cooking with. Some wonderful, great recipes for you folks. Go to maddogandmerrill.com to learn all of our great sponsors, see some of our past shows, some great recipes. Join us on Facebook. It's a great time. I'll tell you what, but Merrill, right now it's time to take a little break. Oh, good. I'm hungry. Can I eat? Sure. All oh, right, I love it. We get to eat it. Let me show you that. Right. This is break time, but we got a nice little brew pub pizza on the Ooh, grill. Oh, thank you, sir. And that's a lots of lots of brew pub pizza, and that's Merrill's and mine. You guys got to go to the grocery store, freezer department, and get your own. <laughs> <laughs> brew pub, lots of matzos. Go, we'll be right back. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills. All natural golden plum chicken, cherry delight, brew pub pizza, Wisconsin potatoes, Forgotten Fire Winery, Alcam Creamery, Sundrop Soda, Merck's Cheese Spread, Glorious Malone's Fine Sausage, and by Crisp Kraut Sauerkraut. Well, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We are in Milwaukee, Wisconsin Grill Fest, and, and, and it's one of our favorite segments because we're cooking on the top grills uh, in the United States. We've got the green egg, We've got several green eggs behind us. Uh, they're an inch and a half of ceramic, uh, Komodo style. The Asians have been right. cooking on them for 2,000 years. Uh, you can smoke the best briskets in the world or fire that baby up for some of the best steaks that we're doing here. Uh, behind us here, we have a, the MHP. The MHP grill is a double burner grill, gas grill. We've got that baby fired up for power for our two big chuck steaks. The Phoenix grill behind us here is a great little grill for nice, Easy cooking, sure. relaxing, and uh, they're not going to goof up on that baby. That's what's nice about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. You know what I like to tell you? I'm doing some uh, bison Reuben pizza today. Sounds love good. Doing pizza. Love doing pizza, even on the green egg, yep. even on the MHP. I've got some golden home crust, which you go ahead and get this in the bakery department. Uh, you'll see it uh, around there. I always have this at home. I got some Merck's cheese on here. I got the uh, Swiss almond, the almond Swiss. Spread that out there. Very simple ingredients. Obviously, I got some green peppers. I'm gonna put some peppers all around this thing. And the same thing, I've got some onions. Got to have some onions. You know, I found out a couple of things about when, when we're talking about the uh, the golden home crust and we're talking about the Merck's cheese. Is, is when I put the cheese on there, always spread to the outside, and it really helps to make sure that the crust stay whole. So yes. always spread from the center to the outside, and it works well. And that's Mr. Mad Dog's really peculiar thing, because he'd always get on my case on there because I didn't spread it well yep, on the peculiar. outside. Always on the outside. Spread it out to the outside. I got the onions on here, a little bit of kraut. Got to have Now we're doing kraut. the Reuben, so we got to have some wonderful crisp kraut on top of there, crisp kraut. 85% uh, of all Wisconsin sauerkraut is made in Bear Creek, Wisconsin, crisp kraut. You'll stuff. find this in the refrigerator department. Absolutely. Got a nice bag there. Okay, now we're going to top this off, believe it or not, with some bison. Now the bison strips, this is actually a nice little uh, chuck steak that came out just wonderful on the grill. We oiled it and seasoned it, and we seared it up on a low heat, seared it on a high heat, then we turned it on to a lower heat, uh, and so it cooks up nice and tender and retains all that gorgeous moisture. Very high in iron, very high in magnesium, and great protein, high in protein. Bison's actually really, really good for you. And I'm just going to top this with some string cheese which is really nice because it comes on really nice and thick too. Put that on the top. Place this on the grill. Obviously, you can do this indirect method of grilling. I would even do a direct grilling because it doesn't take that long. The pizza crusts are already pre-cooked. Those are going to be just absolutely they delicious. Are. I'll take it. I'll take it, sir. By the way, you know, our good friends at, at Merck's Cheese, uh, George Merck's back in 1950s, in the 1950s, uh, created the Merck's Cheese Spread. It's 100% real Wisconsin cheddar cheese. It's now produced in Little Chute, Wisconsin. You can go to Merck's.com. Merck's.com to learn a store locator where you can get yours, but it's pretty much all the stores. Yes, it is. Now over here, these, are, these are like Fred Flintstone style. The, these are Black Angus, gorgeous Black Angus from the Oneida Market in Green Bay, Wisconsin on 501 Packerland Avenue. Uh, the Oneida Market, great place. In fact, you can go to ExploreOneida.com, ExploreOneida.com. Uh, to learn about all the great events that the Oneida Nation does put on, from their powwow to their Apple Fest. Oh, yeah, we'll be at the Apple Fest again this Apple year. Fest, great time. If you're in the Green Bay market in September, and look it up on their website, exploreoneida.com. Uh, Apple Fest, great time. I think it's September 19th this year. Uh, we'll be there all day long. 
but you pick, you, it's like cherry picking in Door County, <laughs> only it's apple picking and a great festival and it's a good time. It really is a lot of fun. Uh, but we've got those beautiful great big chuck steaks there. That's Black Angus chuck steak. I got a little aromatics in there already we don't need. Uh, so what we're going to do, now we don't want to marinate steaks. Okay. When you marinate, you marinate not to tenderize, but to give character, personality, and flavor. If we marinated these gorgeous steaks for uh, uh, eight to 10 hours, it would actually eat through the tissues of the meat. You wouldn't be able to get a rareness to them. It's but true. what we are going to do is we're going to take our good friends at uh, Forgotten Fire Winery. And this is one of their sweeter white wines, Forgotten Fire Winery. Uh, they are up in Pestigal. Pestigo had a great big fire in uh, 1871. Oh, Pestigo right. had the big fire that was called the Forgotten Fire. Uh, so the winery exists up in Pestigo. You can go on winery tours up there. You can go to ForgottenFireWinery.com, ForgottenFireWinery.com to learn about the winery, to learn about the tasting room seven days a week uh, this time of year. So we're going to take a little white wine, and during our little break, we're gonna let that sit in the white wine. Okay. We're gonna flip it one time, and I just want the flavor of the wine enhanced in there. But if we're doing white, we gotta be politically correct, and we have to do well, their you wonderful- gotta help everybody else out. We have to do their lovely red wine, and this is a mixture of Cabernet and Merlot, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna pop open the Forgotten Fiery Red Wine, and on our other steak, now I've seen wine chicken done before, and I've created mm -hmm. wine chicken where you sure. actually marinate the whole chicken. Yep. In one of wines. My favorites, so. Is it really? Yeah. yeah, I do like the wine chicken. So we're gonna do the same thing with the red wine over here, the Forgotten Fire Winery, the red wine, and I'm gonna flip it in a couple seconds or two during the commercial break. And we're actually gonna create a nice little sauce, and it's gonna start out with the white wine. Ooh. And if you back that way there, All now, right. please. I've got a nice cast iron skillet over here, and we're gonna create a nice creamy white sauce during the whole presentation today. So I'm gonna add some nice white wine inside of that cast iron skillet, which you can hear is just a sizzling away. Mm, the aroma the white, too. Well, the, oh. air, the aromatics are coming. Oh man, here, we're not here, done yet. Here be the aromatics. We have some wonderful bay leaves. So I'll stick a couple bay leaves in there with that white wine. We're gonna add, a lot of people add peppercorns. I'm gonna be adding noodles to the white sauce. So okay. instead of peppercorns, I'm gonna use the ground pepper in there just to give it a nice little flavor. And then we're gonna grab, and I, it, 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 we're outside today. We're at what Grill Fest in Milwaukee. We're, we're, we're Ziploc bagging it today. But I've got some wonderful, when you talk about aromatics, you talk oh. about garlic. So I've got some wonderful garlic in there. Now we're gonna let those aromatics, we're gonna let the wine simmer a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some heavy cream to it. And then we're gonna fold in. And oh. over here, I pre-cooked some noodles. And on our Phoenix grill, we have two burners, which is really, really nice on the Phoenix grill. Better than the other ones on the market. So I have my left side over here on a higher heat to do the aromatics and do the white wine. On the right hand side, it's turned off and I'm just kind of reheating my nice little noodles that we're gonna fold into there mm. to serve with some beautiful bison New York strips at the end of the show, so you don't wanna miss that. The aroma is amazing. Absolutely wonderful. Well, we're gonna get these steaks a little bit of a, oh, you know what we forgot? I forgot. Gosh darn it all. Cameraman over here. Over there. Hand rolled butter, just like grandma used to make. Hand rolled butter. It's by our good friends at El Cam Creamery and you can go online at DairyWisconsin.com, DairyWisconsin.com, hand-rolled butter. It's, 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 a, it's a labor of love, but, it, but it's rich, it's creamy, and it's a smooth texture to the butter. It's never been processed and it's never been pumped. It's like grandma used to make, and I always like to say, it's a cut above the rest. And we're gonna take that hand-rolled butter. Oh, now we're talking. And if, and if you do any baking, if you do any baking or create any great sauces like we're doing today, you gotta look for El Cam Creamery's hand-rolled butter. It's Amish style. It's Amish style. And so now we're talking. Now we're gonna add that butter inside there. Mm. We're gonna let everything just rest, including. Oh, we gotta get your pizzas out. I know. Ooh. And what are we going to do? Man. The aroma is phenomenal, sir. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. The Bison Reuben Pizzas. Look at that, sir. I think they came out pretty good. Delicious, pretty delicious good. on the grill. You know, it was just, I mean, we're going to get to our good friends at Sundrop in just a moment or two. But our good friend uh, Dan and his family, the Hartwigs, uh, which they started the, uh, the Sundrop back in the 50s, if I'm not mistaken, in Shawano, Wisconsin, they opened up a neat little museum. You mentioned that. I haven't got to see that and yet. And it's just phenomenal. It's on Franklin Street in Shano. So when you're up in the Green Bay area, head on over to Shano, Wisconsin. The Sun Drop, it's great for the kids. they got a little theater with popcorn. They show how bottle, uh, pop bottles are bottled. Uh, they got every little old sign, every little thing in the world. 
and they're open seven days a week. They got neat old delivery trucks inside of there. Uh, you can actually join them on Facebook at Twigs, T W I G S Beverage Facebook. And just go fig, Twigs Beverage and join them on Facebook, and you can learn more about the museum. But that, let me talk about let me talk about these gorgeous steaks. I know, I'm getting I'm getting hungry. Uh, we took the Forgotten Fire Winery uh, wines, the red one here, the white one here, and I flipped these once, and we soaking up just a little bit of the the white wine in this particular. That's a beautiful Black Angus Ooh. Chuck steak, and I'll put the Black Angus Chuck steak with the red wine over on this side here and what we really want to do let me move these out of the way because okay. we need a little bit of room what we want to do Meryl, and i think you, babies, babies off. i think we need to pat them down right. a little bit i got some paper towel right here young man oh do you you betcha right in my you back are pocket johnny on the spot I always carry paper towel in your back pocket yep. ladies and gentlemen we're going to take that steak and flip it over and just kind of pat it dry and do you think we should put a little coating of oil well, on I there? I would do a little bit of oil that'll make it brown up a little bit nicer there for you with a little bit more seasoning, and I think you'll be all set ready to grow. A little bit of olive oil over the top. Yep. Now, you can go on MadDogAndMeryl.com. Don't you agree, Mr. Merrill? I would definitely do that. And on MadDogAndMeryl.com, you can find good recipes, but you can also see all our wonderful products that are available throughout the whole Midwest. So you folks in Minnesota, you folks in Illinois, Wisconsin, up in the Youpers in Michigan, you can find Mad Dog and Merrill. Just look for those two good looking guys on the label. This is Grandma Hazel's. Garlic, peppers, onion, fennel, celery, red pepper, green pepper, onion, a little sodium on top of there. And we're gonna pat that on top of our nice little chuck steaks. Wherever you go, make sure you have Grandma Hazel with you. She She's always, a good she, companion. She never rubbed you wrong. No, she never did. Once in a while with a twig or so, once in a while, <laughs> I wasn't guilty when I was bad as a kid, but no, it's good stuff. So we're gonna mm. get our chuck steaks. Now we got the MHP. Uh, we've got the MHP grill fired up behind us. That that needle is darn near buried. So we got both burners. We got them going good and hot. So I think it's appropriate. Let me just lift up that hood. There we go. And we're yeah, we're gonna take. Right. Yeah, I bet you. I'll throw them big old steaks right. right on there. You grab the other one, Mr. Merrill. There's some good searing action on that MHP. If you're out looking in the market for gas grills this year, the Phoenix, the MHP, the Pro Fires, they're all wonderful, wonderful, wonderful gas grills. But this MHP has nice cast aluminum grates on top of there, make good score marks, searing action going on. The Phoenix grill there, you can do some wonderful slow cooking. You can sear them up and then slow cook on those. So mm. we're going to put that hood down. Now every wow. good meal needs some wonderful side vegetables. They yeah. do, they do. And, and, and you got to prep things and pre-do them, and that's what we did here today. So, well, we're going to be taking a break in just a moment or two, but let me show you a couple things. There's not a vegetable you can't grow in your garden that no. you can't put directly on the grates of the grill. Uh, those that. are some wonderful zucchini strips. Those are going to go lovely with our cream sauce, with the noodles, and that, and the, and, and the, some, oh gosh, we got some nice little uh, bison New York strips to do, too. Well, you never told me that. Oh, I forgot all about them. You can't forget oh, steak, ladies man. and gentlemen. So we got zucchinis oh. cut into paddles, glistened with an oil, seasoned up with Grandma Hazel. Uh, if you've never had Brussels sprouts on the grill, if you've never had Brussels sprouts on the grill, they're just gnarly little things. They're wonderful. That's something. If people have never had them, trust me, you'll be amazed. Even if you don't like Brussels, uh, Brussels sprouts, definitely try them. You'll be amazed. Glisten really them with an oil, put a whole bunch of Grandma Hazels over the top of them, and let them marinate in the refrigerator a little bit. But here's the cat's meow. This is when we get the beautiful sun drop soda out. Now I took some pears and apples and pears and apples and cut them in half and I hollowed out the, the centers and we're gonna take those pear. Now they've been marinating overnight. That's why they're a little brown on top but it's in the beautiful sun drop mm. citrus with, whole, with a, a fresh thyme. There you go. Fresh thyme in there and, the, and that beautiful old fashioned lemon lime citrus. Uh, the pears and the apples are just absolutely delicious. We're gonna take those, and I got a few more in there to do, but our good friends at Country Ovens have a wonderful product, Cherry Delight. Cherry Delight has a whole, a whole slew of wonderful cherries. Uh, they're they're anti though. They are. They're anti-inflammatories and they're antioxidants. They're really, really, really good for you, and they're delicious. And you can go at countryovens.com. They're up in Forestville, Wisconsin. Up in Forestville, Wisconsin. And, or you can visit them up there, or you can order gift boxes online. What did I open up? The chutney. the chutney. I love the chutney. They have a jalapeno preserve that would have been delicious. They have a chutney. They have a salsa. And we're just going to fill those little cavities of pears and apples that we've had soaking with thyme and sundrop. 
and I'm gonna set those over here on the beautiful ceramic green egg, on the ceramic green egg, and I'm gonna control my temperature to slow cook those for about 20 minutes or so, and I'll fill up Ooh. some more, and those are gonna be the best side dish or dessert to serve with any meal. I'm glad I'm hungry, 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 hungry. We're gonna throw this all together. Boy, hey, wait, before you. we come back, watch this, watch this. All right. First of all, we gotta do two things. Stand okay. back, Mr. Stand Merrill. Stand back, all right. Heavy cream in the white wine sauce. The white wine sauce is bubbling away. I'm gonna add a nice little heavy cream in there, and we're gonna thicken that baby up to add our noodles to it. Oh, and can man. I show you one other thing before sure, we go? Sure, what the heck, it's I our know. show. Dang tootin'. Watch this. That's that MHP. Look at that searing action of that beautiful MHP grill. That is a gas grill and a half right there. Look at those big old oh, uh, good job. Bron brontosaurus steaks. You know, even Hazel would be proud of you with her <laughs> rub on there, Isn't that too. delicious? We're going to be right back to kind of throw this all together. Are we? I don't know. We'll, we'll try. throw it all we together. Got a lot Trust to me, we will. <laughs> Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. You can check out all the products, all the wonderful things that you've seen today on maddogandmerrill.com. Yes, you can. I'll tell you what, we're at Grillapalooza. Oh, yeah. And we got we got a lot to get off I this. I know, bring let's it out. Let's hungry. take a look a little bit of our mini, our, 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 our nice big green egg, and look at those gorgeous pears. And we're going to take a couple of those. The pears turned out just nice. They're just getting tender, and that's the way you want them. Mm. And then let's take off one of the apple wedges off All from right. there. Good job, sir. We got our beautiful Brussels sprouts back here. When they're charred on the outside, they're done on the inside. And let me just show you, individual little cabbages, just absolutely delicious, steaming mad. They're wonderful to do on the grill. Beautiful little Brussels sprouts on the grill. Wow, those babies are Good hot. Good job, I sir. Love I'm them. exhausted, folks. Keep going, keep Zucchini going. Zucchini strips. Although, so those are our nice little sides that you'd want to use. Now, throughout the whole show on the right-hand side with the grill off, I've been uh, cooking these nice little noodles. So we're going to take our noodles, and these are pre-cooked. Mm. We're going to do a nice little mound of spaghetti over the top of that. I don't know where we're going to have room for everything, Merrill. We're going to take off one of our Brontosaurus burgers. Right. I got the man-sized spatula. The man-sized. The man-sized spatula for the Brontosaurus steaks. These steaks from the Oneida market are phenomenal. Whoa. That's Black Angus. We're gonna take the black Ooh. Angus steaks and we're gonna set that right there. Now we okay. took the Forgotten Fire Winery and Alcam Creamery butter and we made ourselves a wonderful little cream sauce. That's gonna Ooh. drizzle over all of it. Now we're gonna be right back. We'll have our mouths full, but we'll wrap this thing Ooh. up. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, we are at Grillapalooza in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We're having a wonderful time. It's actually a training session for the good folks on the Big Green Eggs, on the MHP, and over here on the Phoenix Grill. So it's all the dealers from around our area here oh. training on the grills. What a great feast we have in front of us What a today. feast. They've already been nibbling a little bit. I'm sorry, sir, I cannot resist. I couldn't resist that, myself. The noodles, the steak, I mean, the presentation is absolutely great. And, and everything from hors d'oeuvres, there's nothing you can't grill. You just have to think outside of it and you Use your noodles. You got it, sir. <laughs> Very important. Have a good one, folks. Happy grilling. Fire up that grill. Hey, folks. Mad Dog and Merrill here in the Sultans of Sears. The gurus of the grill. The hosts of Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Spice up your next cookout with Mad Dog and Merrill's thick, rich barbecue sauces, seasonings, and marinades. Don't forget Dow Works. Sauerkraut, onion, ketchup, and a hint of mustard all in one bottle. Dow Works for sausage, burgers, chicken, hot dogs, and more. Dow Works. Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill products. Available at a store near you. Happy grilling, folks.